<laughs> yes. Good afternoon. Oh, fabulous people. How are you? Okay, who's up for a little bit of an art journal page this afternoon? I'm on a time limit. Oh, I can hear myself. Hang on. No, that's the button I want. Get, get rid of that. Um, I'm on a bit of a time limit because I have Pilates at 5.30 and as much as I would really love to skip it today, I'm just not going to do that. So I thought that I would do a double art journal page, but let's just commit to overachieving. Uh, and I'm going to use Lindy's. Magicals, and I'm going to use these gorgeous Minte houses here as well. So for those of you just tuning in for the first time, this is my fourth live Facebook for today. And we are um, part of the Great International Craft Show, which is a fantastic online event. Because we are not doing live, live shows anymore, we are doing online shows because we can reach more of you and we can do fantastic things like this to give you some fabulous specials. So everything that I'm showing you today is available on nataliemay.com.au and today only we have got a fabulous Thursday only special. So what that is, is 15% off of Lindy's Gain products, which is what I'm about to use, as well as Minte products and a washi tape. So something fabulous for all of you, and that is part of the special for today only. The other thing I'm quickly going to tell you about is no judgment postage, because tomorrow I'm going to have a brand new special, and you might want to order something tomorrow. In fact, I know you will, because we've got some awesome things on special tomorrow as well. So if you want to add to your order, all you need to do is pay $12.50 for your first order and then you can you choose no judgment postage after that and we're going to bundle them all together and post them on Monday or Tuesday. So you can build your orders instead of just ordering that one time. Um, we have some other great things on special as well, including the Minte chipboard mini albums for 20% off, sustainable wood shapes at $7 each, the Minte um, books, the fussy cutting books, are down to 10 bucks each if there's any left. And Art by Marlene, 15% off store wide, and some other great markdowns there as well. So, lots of very cool things for you. Okay, let's crack into it. So, previously today, I've had a bit of a play with some Minte chipboard, which are these 12 by 12 sheets, which are brilliant value for money. What we've got here is the houses sheet and I have seen some amazing projects with these um, in mini albums, uh, in, on scrapbook layouts. I've seen Christmas decorations made out of these, all sorts of bits and pieces. What I thought I might do is put them in my art journal. So I'm gonna go one there, I'll probably put one there, one there and one there. So these are something that you might not normally look at. Now, I've got a couple of printouts here that I have, um, that I've taken off the internet. The lovely Phoebe Tonosaki from Japan. Phoebe has created these little projects using them. Now, Phoebe works for Minte, and she's one of their fantastic designers. So there's some really cool things, like check these out. She also works worked for Lindy's as well. But can you see, and you can see that they're like a, she's put an eyelet in the top of these to create a beautiful off the page piece as well. So these are really, really awesome. Very, very fun to play with. So I'm going to put these on my art journal page. Before I do that, I want to build the background of my art journal. So I have done just a small amount of prep work here just because watching paint dry is nobody's favourite thing to do. So I have got a double 
page in my Dilusions Art Journal. I have just put some masking tape down the spine because I'm going to be using water. And I, across the middle here, I have used my leafy, what's it called? Leafy stencil, maybe? And I've just used some heavy gesso to create like a bit of texture there. And what I want to do now is I'm just going to use some Lindy's on the background to create a bit of a wash over my background. Before I do that, I'm going to crack out some paper towel because I'm going to be using a little bit of liquid. I'm going to use a lot of liquid. And I'm going to go... The very, yeah, the branching out one. There we go. Thank you, Lou. So I use the branching out stencil. So that's a Natalie May scrapbooking product. And they are, oops, they are one that I have, a stencil that I have designed. So, all right. So what I have got here is a few different products. I have got the Lindy's Magical Shakers. And I have got the Lindy's Magical Pots and I've pulled a few different green, blue greens. I've actually pulled out some of these fuchsia tones as well because I haven't quite decided what colours I'm going to do. But I'm just going to commit to it. Um, so Lindy's Shakers, Lindy's Magical. So these are a pigment dye based powder that when you activate it makes the colour happen. So, the pigment means it's full of colour. The dye means it has a fantastic permanency to it. The powder means that you need to activate it. So the really cool thing about this is you can do it, You can do so many different things with it. It's, you just have to activate the, pa the powder to get the magic to happen. So this product here and this product here is exactly the same. It's just the packaging that is different, okay? What I also have handy is a water spray bottle and a dry paintbrush, which I'm just gonna use that one there. All right, so let's crack on. So what I wanna do is I wanna put some color onto my background here. Um, now I'm just timing my, my shaking here. I'm just gonna puff these up a bit. I'm just timing it with my fan because that can go really bad. And if I don't turn it off, it will be like a sauna in here. It's a little warm today. So I'm just taking some lids off off to the side. Now, so the shakers are excellent because they have got a double sided. So you can see the holes there. It's also got like a scoopy side on this side. We don't want to use the scoopy side. We want to use the hole. So what I'm going to do is start off with some Guten Tag Teal and just pop a little a few little drops around the page. Now you can't really see it and I'm fairly certain it's not showing up very well on camera, but I'm just gonna put a few different colors around the page. And I'm only really at this stage focusing on the top. So some of these ones here as well, I'm gonna mix a few colors together. Oh, the fan hit it. It's gonna make for a fun um, work. No, I'm going to commit to the fan. Um, <laughs> maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, that's better. Thanks, babe. All right, so now I'm going to activate this powder. So up on camera, you can see that there's, you can see all these little specks. So now I'm just going to get my water and I'm going to spray my paper. Now, because I have gessoed my paper previously, what that means is that it's not gonna soak in, hopefully, and it's gonna move around. And I do love that look. You see what's happened there. That's really pretty. Hey, Lou, come look. Now that you've just sat down. Just thought I'd wait till you sat down before I did that. Oh, wow. I know. So now I'm going to add some Magnolia Magenta Gold, just because it's pretty. 
and I'm just going to put a little on the ends. I don't want it everywhere. I just want a few spots around the place. All right, and I'm pretty happy with that. So I've just used a couple of colours. Now I still have to activate that magnolia magenta gold, that colour that I've just put on. The more water you put on, the more the colour's going to come together, okay? So what I need to do here is I just need to move it around, spread it around a little. Can activate it with my finger. So this is why I put the tape in the middle here because I didn't want it to run too much into my spine of my journal and compromise the integrity of my, my journal. So I'm now gonna pick it up and I'm going to move the color around my page. I'm letting it come off my page, I'm letting it drip down And I'm just going to dab off some of these bigger puddles that I've got happening in the middle. I'm not too worried about what's going on down here because my houses are going to cover that up. <coughs> and I think I might just... You know what? Knowing when to stop is important. So I'm just quickly going to heat set. Especially in the spine. Now, because I have covered my background in gesso, that has, whoops, don't touch it, that has protected the paper so it's not going to soak all the way through to compromise the artwork on the other side, okay? Hopefully. <laughs> you know. And I can build on this as well. Yes, I can also do this with the sprays, but I'm absolutely no reason why I can't do this with sprays. So all I would do was just spray my background instead. Super simple. But I'm creating a really love, lovely soft background that will just running into the spine again. Running into the spine again. And I love the way that it's puddling around here. That's really kind of cool. So that's working really well. And what I'll do in a moment is I'm going to add some more splatters with a darker colour. But before I do that, I'm going to pop this aside and allow, just allow it to dry a little and start working on my houses. Just making sure it's dried on the other side. And we're going to just let that dry. Okay. What happened to my... I've just got my um, heat proof mat out because I want to paint my houses. I want to give my houses some colour. Now, I'm going to go for the sort of effect that I just showed you off of Phoebe's page. So, uh, it's being inspired by this, I really, really love this rough sort of painty look. So, I thought, you know what, let's give that a go. So I'm going to use acrylic paint for my houses. 
and I'm going to be super rough with it. So what that means is I'm not going to be very precise. So I'm just going to start with a paintbrush and use, sorry, a, a palette knife and use the back of my palette knife for putting on some colour. Now I'm not going to do the whole lot in, in the same colours. But I'm going to do, add a little bit of each sort of colour to the projects. So I've got that one. And just, just going on with a real rough sort of effect is going to make it look a lot more organic. Because I don't want to do a whole lot of extra stuff to this page. I'm going to add a little bit of stamping to my background as well. But I don't want to do a whole lot of arty farty stuff to it. I just don't think it's necessary all the time. A bit of yellow to that. Now, the colours that I've chosen so far, I'm quite comfortable mixing these together when they are wet. It is the colour because they are colours that are um, kind of alongside of each other on the colour wheel rather than opposite. So I'm not too fussed about a little bit of mixing up here. I'm going to pop a little bit of green. Hello Tina. Tina's just popped in. How's your day going Tina? I, obviously um, I will accept your apology for being late. If you've been working or doing some something crafty and creative. Chasing cows. So if I was to use a paintbrush, this would give me a more of a perfect sort of look, but I'm, I'm not really going for that. I'm really going for something a lot, like I said, a lot more organic, a lot rougher, rough and ready, and not really worrying too much at this stage about how it looks. Chasing sheep, sorry. I was close. Louise was close, that was her guess. Sheep, cows, you know, same but different. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say something about all being edible, but I won't. Um, not appropriate. All right, I'm gonna pop a bit of orange in. Now, I'm not putting the orange on this one or this one because orange and green are gonna make a fabulous shade of brown if I mix them together. But if I put them over the top, put the orange over the top of this, now we're talking. And I'll bring it up to camera and show you in a minute exactly how how effective using the, the back of my, my catalyst tool is because it really does give a really awesome finish that looks, looks good. It's a little messy as you can see, but that's what baby wipes are for. Uh, radio. I'm going to pop that aside and I want to add a little pink now. So at the moment I'm using the Dina Wakeley colors. So these are Dina Wakeley paints that are, I, I really do love these colors, the lovely rich tones. Good solid heavy, heavy body paint. So 
So popping that over the top because the pink is going to look spectacular with this orange. Oh, I like it. So I hope you all caught my earlier live Facebook today where we talked about creating a gratitude journal. If you didn't, you can jump back onto, scroll back down and, and watch it again, or you can head over to my YouTube channel and watch it there. Okay, so everything that I upload onto uh, Facebook, you can also catch over on YouTube as well. All right, so cleaning off my palette knife here. I'm thinking that I need to add a little bit of depth to these two. Uh, so I'm going to go in with Ocean. So the reason I'm going in with Ocean is because this is a similar tone to what I have used in the background with the Lindy's. So I do like that, but I'm just wondering now if it was the right colour. Perhaps Peacock might have been better. So let's mix them together. Why not? Okay, two colours on my, no, on my um, catalyst tool. And I'm going to go and just gently touch over the top, it's concentrating on the edges. Now I'm just going to touch up a few little areas with my finger because there's some bits that I've just missed with my with my fancy tool, which is an incredibly low price of about I don't know twelve or thirteen bucks, aren't they, Lou? Uh, the catalyst tool. Yeah. So there we go. I'm pretty happy with that. And see, just wiping it. I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that, but just wiping it over the top like this is kind of organic. So these chipboard houses are part of a 12 by 12 Minte sheet and they are 15% off for uh, today. Uh, a perfect opportunity to grab them. And like I said, you can quite easily Colour them in anything at all. Hey, you could put them through your foiling machine. You could put them, you can heat emboss on them. You can paint them, stamp them. Do all the things. Okay, I think I might add a little bit of this colour to this as well. Now, most of this is dry. The only colour that's still wet is the pink. So, just touching a few, just to tie it all together, a few high points being the sides, the roof, not the whole lot. Knowing when to stop is important. Focusing on my edges. That'll do. Since I seem to have a copious amount of paint on my workstation. But your art journal can be anything you want. This would work great on a um, scrapbook page. You could do this for cards. These little books would be beautiful as an addition to a mini album. Okay, so you don't have, you can just use one house at a time. There's no rules, people. There's no rules. Okay, loving that. So the silicon, silicon tool, um, which is the catalyst tool here, will just wipe off clean. And when you leave the paint to dry on it, which I probably will later, it'll just wipe off. All right. So I'm just quickly going to heat set those. I'm going to give them a little bit of a, a dry with my heat tool just to make sure the paint is dry. 
And then I'm going to add some stamping to them. I'll lay them out on my project to see how they look. And then I will add perhaps some white, maybe a little stamping, and start working on my page. It's a messy sport. For me, I'm wondering if this one needs a little pink. The answer is going to be yes because I'd already thought that it needed it. Oh, and that is nearly empty. So, the reason it needs a bit of pink is because I've got some teals here. So, just a fraction, just a just a scrape of pink. Just a kiss. Oh, why do all of the baby wipes come out of the container at once? <laughs> all right i'm really quite loving it i think that's really cool i don't know how it's going to look on my background but i think they look great off my background anyway all right works for me i'll bring it up to the camera and show you let's have a look so you can see them being a little you know scrapey a little a little organic Looking pretty good. Whoops. Alrighty. Let's have a look at popping that aside and pull the um, page back again. So that's dried up quite nicely. So what I'm thinking is, it's going to go there. I don't know. There, there, there there something like that I need to to lift it a little they need to kind of stand out a bit on the background so let's introduce some stamping and or some stenciling let's have a think about this I've got the we, we all make choices stamp set now this is one of my my designs um, and this is in the brand new storage cases that we have just released. These are a whole $4.95 each. And they uh, come with the printout ready for you just to put in your stamp set. So this one here is the reeds. And what I want to do is I want to put this across the bottom. And I'm not going for perfection here because the uh, houses are going to sit on top of them anyway. But it's going to help the page, help the houses stand out a bit more on the page. up a bit and because our houses are going to cover up most of it I just want a few little high points and they'll show through the windows which is very very cool okay let's wipe that off let's do a naturally clean Um, 
um, I want to add some texture to the background here and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking it's nice it's looking good but it's, it's kind of lacking a little bit of something so I'm gonna add a little bit of stamping first of all a bit of a shameless plug here for Natalie Bate May scrapbooking stamps and stencils uh, I'm gonna use the don't overthink stamp set so I'm gonna want to use this one here something a little different and this I'm gonna put in black Oops, on the background because I'm then going to be stenciling over the top. Now I don't really mind, I want a more of an organic sort of look here. And it's an art journal so it can be however you like. Righty, I put the lid back on that. So that is the Don't Overthink stamp that does those lovely little segments. And then I am going to be adding some, I want to use some, a few little marks around the place. And I want to add those in a gesso because Because I want them to kind of sit over the top here, so I want some of these little marks. Let's get that out of the way. I'm just going to pull my mat out on the side so I can create a little gesso puddle. And I'm going to use a, a latex sponge to, to do this. And what's happening is it's just putting, I don't want too much, I'm just putting on a light few dots just to give it that, oh, what has she done there sort of look to it. And it will just disappear into the background and I'm layering it over the stamps and I'm layering it over over that color so that it just disappears really well so this is my mark maker mark mashup stencil And just to let you know, these will not be on special this weekend. So if you are holding out for me to put them on special, as most of you know, I do not put, I very, very, very rarely do I put the Natalie May scrapbooking products on any sort of spread special. So you won't find this one, but they are at a super low price anyway of I think $11.50. So add one to your cart today. Hmm. Louise is laughing at me. All right, so there's some lovely little dots there just to tone it back. I might pop some in the middle here so that the houses sit on top quite nicely and they don't get too lost. So this is going over the top of the magicals. All right, I've lost my houses. Here we go. So what I want to do while I have some gesso out is I just want to... Whoops, didn't plan to do that. But conveniently, because it's acrylic paint in the background, I can wipe it off. So what I wanna do is I was gonna add a smaller amount of white in some spots because I am going to outline my houses in black pen to tie in with the black stamping here and here and get them to sit up out on the page a bit, okay? One. Two. So sometimes when you can go a bit heavy on the paint, there's no reason why you can't whack a bit of white over the top. Whack a bit, that's the technical term. <laughs> over the top. 
whack a bit, whack, whack a bit, wh whack a bit on the top, and give it a good rub in. Correct. I won't use that term, Alex. Sure. Um, Look at you being all bloody sophisticated. I know, being all fancy. Whoops. You're drawing. Yeah. <laughs> got two fans going on in here and it's drying quite quickly which is great but I'm being rough with it because it, I don't want it to be perfect because none of it none of the rest of the page is perfect your grass looks good oh thanks I like my grass too hmm. I'm not going to see much of it because it's going to sit in underneath but that's okay so I'm just now going to tone some of these heavier bit bits back just with a little gesso swipe He's going to go there. Now, because these are quite thin. Their inside plants are doing well. Their inside plants are doing well. We, <laughs> we are comedians. Uh, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Because it's quite thin chipboard, it's not going to add too much body to your journal. You don't want it to stand out too much. <laughs> ah, that's funny, boys. Um, yes, Tina Louise's words of encouragement are pretty spectacular. Um, oh, now I've lost my train of thought. Gosh, you're horrible. Okay, so I was toning, toning back some of these areas just by swiping over the top. There we go, and toning back some of this stamping. So the stamping's still there, but it's just a little, a little toned. Done and done. All right, let's stop fluffing around and stick it down. What are we going to stick it down with? Glue. I'm just going to use good old glue. Oh, Robin's just commented saying that she's had a delivery from me. Well, love that. So, Robin, don't forget to share your delivery in the Natalie May scrapbooking creative community. Show us what you got. Share your, share your new toys with your friends. Okay, make everybody envious of what you've purchased and show off that awesome packaging that we do, that we pride ourselves on. So if you jump into the private Facebook page, which is the, yes, Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community, you do need to request to join because it's a very exclusive club. Um, you can quite often, we have different competitions in there each month as well. So we have currently, we have got a mood board challenge where you can create a scrapbook layout or a art journal page or a card or a canvas or whatever floats your boat based on a colored mood board and a lovely simple design so each month we do have a competition and i have already decided what the february challenge is going to be but you can go in the chance to win a 25 dollar gift voucher to nataliemay.com.au and every time I say AU I think of that I think of Julia Morris on I'm a celebrity get me out of here I do love her she's super funny but that just bugs me the way she says that so we just hit the mute button I'm sure I'm not the only one that does it all right there we go stuck and stuck and I'm just holding that down so it's going to be super stuck. Quick drink break. Alrighty. So what I'm also going to do, while I'm just holding my hand on it, is reach over to the never-ending pile of black pens that I seem to accumulate. And I have a Pintor, a Pilot Pintor paint pen. That's quite the mouthful today.
let's make sure it works, which it does. And I'm going to I'm going to start with a little black outline. What glue did you use? What glue did I use? I just actually used the Art by Marlene sticky glue, which is uh, currently sold out, but on its way back in again. Um, there's a couple of glues that we sell in the online store. Let's just say that if I sell it, I use it. I only recommend and sell products that I trust and know, okay? So um, because I'm sold out of that, the other one that I use all the time is, of course, the puzzle glue. And now I'm going to crack in with a... No. Like a black sharpie and outline my houses. So outlining the houses will take a little time. So I'm not going to do it all on camera today because you guys have got better things to do with your day. So I'm going to sh just do this one to show you how good it's going to look once it stands out. Well, it, it does in my head anyway, so if it doesn't work, no, it just jokes. Of course, it's going to look great. Who am I kidding? Alrighty. Am I even on camera? Yes, I am. So I'm just going to draw some windows. So I can add some stamping to these. There's so many cool things I can add to them. Um, adding a title and some words are super important when it comes to doing your art journal pages. I mean, that's what we're art journaling for. I mean, it's a creative outlet, but it's also the opportunity to put some words down. Um, you can write anything you like. I mean, with a page like this, for example, you could write how your, your home is your haven or... Maybe home is somewhere that you find comfortable and you want to never leave. Home is where we spent most of last year. Home, it might be somewhere that you might want to escape. There's lots of things that you can put down in your art journal that you don't necessarily have to share with anybody else, okay? So don't be afraid to put it in writing. That's super important. That's what your journal is all about. It's the same as when you're scrapbooking. The idea of scrapbooking is to record memories. So putting your memories down on paper to go with the photographs that you're scrapbooking is what it is all about. So I could have used a, you know, a black ink to edge these before sticking them down, like a distress ink. I could have used lots of different things to be, you know, to, to add a nice edge to help them stand out on the page. In fact, that probably would have been a better thing to do, but we didn't do it like this. I could put a pet in the window. I could. Have you got any pets for me? No. You don't. Okay. So I'm just quickly going to take that and wipe that. Oh, I like that. And then I'm going to bring it up to camera, especially these two where I've created that black outline because, of course, it hasn't shown up on camera as well as I would like it to because, you know, that's Murphy's Law. All right, let's think about some words. I've got a couple of stamp sets here. That we could use. Uh, so... They're all actually a bit small. Oh no, that one's not. That one is my Just Be Kind stamp set. That's got the Be The Energy You Want To Attract. I like that. And I do have the Sweary stamp set as well. But seeing I don't have it handy, I won't show you those. Um, so if you, are, if you have a look online under Products by Natalie May, you will find the Super Sweary stamp set. And that's a Super Sweary stamp set, okay? I'm thinking I need a few little pink splatters around the place. How about a little pink paint splatter? What do we think about that? 
excellent idea, I heard you say, excellent idea. How about a little pink? How do we do a little pink paint splatter? Well, we pick up the same pink that we used earlier that is apparently blocked. Okay. And I'm going to use a thin paintbrush. from my 1100 paintbrushes, and I'm gonna make up a little painty wash here. Dip it into the water and make up in, making up, as you can see over here, a lovely little puddle. And I'm just gonna do this. So when I bring it up to camera in a moment, you'll see how it ties everything together. Now this little flick is a finger tap on the brush not a wrist flick, okay? And that's really important because you don't want lines like I just did there. Because that just doesn't look, oh, and there. Because I'm not concentrating. Are you showing people what not to do? I'm showing people what not to do. That's right, Louise. All right. So there's those splatters. Can you see how those pink splatters make a bit of a difference? Alrighty, so last thing it's gonna need is some, are you looking for an animal stamp? I know, I know you. I know exactly what you're doing over there. And no, you don't, oh, are you looking for the chickens? Yeah. <laughs> I can read your mind like a book. Um, okay, so the last thing I want to do is I want to add a title. I need to add some words here over the top of all of this. Uh, so what am I going to add? Give me a homely title here, girls. That's not home sweet home. That's not home sweet home. Because that's, that's boring. Cliche. That's cliche. Home is where you can take your pants off. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I can take my pants off. Pants. Home is where you don't have to wear pants. No, I don't have to wear pants here. That's right. Oh, here's my super sweary stance set. Hang on. Okay, if you are offended, look away now. I um, These have got some terribly, terribly rude words on it. So there's a little sneak, sneak of the other stance set. Um, not to everybody's liking, and that's okay. Stop looking for the chickens. We're not putting chickens in the houses. All right. All right. So what I want to do is, nobody's given me a home is where your heart is. Oh. Home is where your heart is, on the home stretch. Um, home is where you can be you. Oh. oh. Hmm, quite like that. Homeward, homeward bound. Homeward bound. You know what, I'm thinking a... How am home I going for time? Uh, You've got 10 minutes. How long before I have to leave? All right. I'm actually thinking that this black, thicker black pinch or pen is going to be better for outlining. So I think I will do... I think I'll do that. All right. Come on. Where's the rest of them? The ghetto. Where's the, smoke? <laughs> the ghetto. Oh, did everybody just start singing that song? In the ghetto. Who sings that? Don't sing it, boys. I've heard you sing. It's it's as bad. As, it's as bad as me. Oh, that's better. Um. Who sings it? Home is where you are loved the most and can act the worst. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner. I'm just shaking this really, really good. Be true, you can be your true colours at home. Ooh. All right, I like the one Tina said. Elvis song. Home is Elvis, is it? It is Elvis, thank you. Home is where you are loved the most. Oh, now I've lost it. Okay, hang on. Home is, <laughs> comments keep coming up and I keep losing it. Home is where you can, home is where, let me just, okay.
home is where you are loved the most. <laughs> and can act the worst. Is that how you spell worst? W O R S T. Alright, there we go. It's done, it's in. Act your worst. Oh, I've written the now. The worst. Alright. So there you go. I'm pretty happy with that. And I am happy with the way that I've, I've written it direct onto my page. Um, and I know that that is a skill that some people are not comfortable with. But like I said, I am perfectly comfortable with the fact that this is my journal, that I am creating projects to make me happy. And I'm not worried about you judging my scribbly handwriting, my bad spelling or whatever it might be. So putting your own handwriting onto your page. Hey? You can use stickers, you can use alphabet stickers, you can use whatever you like. Um, you do know that, oh well previously, and you'll see it on my other YouTube videos, that I will quite often use um, a set of thickers and you know some with some pre designed words just to make it nice and easy um it does need a few black splatters up here because i've got black 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 no black but i'm not going to do that today that can wait that's just me being that balanced sort of person that has to be balanced um but i like it i am quite balanced thank you louise thanks for pointing that out uh, <laughs> it is. um okay so these houses that we popped on here are the Minte chipboard 12 by 12 sheets. They are a set of six houses that started out looking like this. We added some paint, we made it work. And I totally didn't do much more than swipe it on there with my catalyst tool. The background is using Lindy's Magical Shakers. So I used a combination of blues and some water, let it dry, and then added some stenciling. Let's bring it up, let's have a look. Some stenciling, some splatters, some stamping. We've built a simple background with what we had. The leafy things that you can see in the background then um, is a combination of uh, just gesso and a stencil that I did when I painted my background. Um, and here are my houses. Oh, and I've got my, what is that called? My reed stamp from the Don't Overthink stamp set. Apparently my garden, what is it? My indoor plants are looking fantastic, Louise said. <laughs> so there you go. All right, so jump online to nataliemay.com.au. You can get specials for today only, uh, and they are going to be some Minte products, 15% off. Lindy's products today are 15% off. So that's your magical, your magical sets. That's also the magical shakers, sprays, and embossing powders at 15% off and also washi tape. Now that is today's special. These items are not gonna be on special tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we're gonna have a brand new special and tomorrow's special is going to be something very awesome. I'm not gonna tell you what that is because that takes all the fun out of it. But you're gonna love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, we also have Art by Marlene's products on special as well. So what I'm gonna do is take a quick photo of this project and then I will upload it to the page. And then when I get home from Pilates, I will link the products in the comments so that you can see what we have used today. So thanks so much, guys. I hope you are all having a fantastic evening wherever you are. 
wash your hands, kiss your kids, do the things. And I look forward to seeing you at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, Adelaide time, so that you can hear all about the special of the day and what the plans are for the day. And tomorrow I'm making cards all day, guys. So um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Bye.